Hello Aries, this is the gift to your two, I'm Susie and I'm going to shuffle your cards for the next seven days. What the spirits like Aries to know for the next seven days? Too soon, Aries, Aries, spirits and angels, give us some cards for the next seven days. For Aries, I think I don't know what day it is. Aries, Aries, next seven days, four of cups. Spirits and angels, give us some cards for the next seven days for Aries, Aries, for the next seven days. Empress, Aries, next seven days for Aries. Aries, next seven days. What day is it? It's November the 23rd, I think. I'm shuffling, but this is for November the 24th. For seven days after that. <laughs> That's how I prepare down. Because I'm Aries. I just do things when I'm feeling it. Come on, Aries, for the next seven days. Next seven days. Next seven days. Five of Swords and the Emperor. Next seven days. Give us some cards for the next seven days, please. Angels and Spirits. Next seven days. Next seven days. Next seven days. Not the Nine of Swords again. Next seven days. 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 Well, we've got the Emperor and the Empress in this in this immediately. So they've they've been coming up in the. Um, Group readings, the, all the readings really. Next seven days for the Emperor. I'm sorry, for the Aries. Yes, you are the Emperor, the Aries, Emperor, the Aries. For the next seven days, what the angels and spirit guides like Aries to know for the next seven days. Okay, that's a lot of cards, but I'll take them. On the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. Yeah. Okay, so we've got six of coins, hangman, queen of wands. Judgment, got this little card, Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups, Chariot, and Justice. Yes! Okay, so first of all, we've got the Four of Cups, the Empress. You've been handed something. Um, there's something, you, you, you're you dwelling on something you can't see and it's right in front of your face. Maybe all your friends are saying things to you and you're not listening. Um, you're feeling creative, you're feeling at the top of your game. Um, there's this mother figure or empress, she's pregnant with new creative ideas, could be pregnancy also. Um, and for some reason, there's a narcissistic five of swords here that you want to go into battle with someone because whether you're not listening to them or they, they decide to have a row or something, and this could be with the emperor, or this could be you arguing with your mum, mother or father or your spouse so they're trying to tell you something but the only way it's going to get it feels that it can't go anywhere else that, other than onto the battlefield to to finish it okay it's just two egos bat battling against each other so you're going to just just kill everybody on the battlefield and not care walk away and think well, what was that all about um nobody wins so Bite your tongue, if you can, with regard to this person. Um, it could be over a marriage or a celebration or the a new beginning of something that is really upsetting. Um, it's really upsetting you and it's causing you worry in the night and, and complete distress, okay? These are all overwhelming worries in that get worse when it's dark in in when you're sleeping in a bed or whatever and you're waking up nightmares and things like that. So you're upset about some kind of celebration. Maybe you heard about a marriage. Maybe you wish you hadn't said the things you said to this person that you can't take back. Um, it's kind of maybe listen if your friends are giving you advice. Um, I don't know whether to say, because in the Four of Cups, she's listening to all her friends, you know, and they do actually give her the wrong advice. It's not the wrong advice, it's just she takes it the wrong way um, and, and ends up feeling jealous and chasing away Eros out of the door. It's in the Mythic Tarot spread, um, the Greek mythology spread. So um, just just try and see what's right in front of you as opposed to dwelling on things that you, you could have won and things like that. Um, not making things up 
if you like. Otherwise, you're going to take this to the bridge and ruin something that's going to really distress you. Okay. Um, it could be the end of a marriage or some kind of a divorce or some. It, it can be a miscarriage or a miscarriage of justice. This card and with the Empress there, you know, it's, it, it's a sad card. So we've got this Hermit. So you decide to follow your light and wisdom or there could be someone to come in to tell you look you need to do go this way or here's the light i'm going to show you another way um you need to find your higher self you've got the tower in the love so it's either something out of the blue someone comes to distress you um because they're not equally giving and they don't want to see eye to eye and you're and you end up waiting longer for this reciprocation um if i was to give you a, a, a heads up then it would be not to go not to, just to keep quiet uh just <laughs> not to go onto this battlefield because you do, something will happen that you can't take back it's when something ends the second time and there's no going back from it and you wish you hadn't actually gone back to this relationship after the three of swords so yeah so a little bit of a distressing week someone's not being charitable to, towards you um, you're having to follow your own path and, and maybe permit yourself a little bit um, you may have to see things from a different perspective at the end of this week but the queen of wands comes in which is you your your fire your creativity sexuality the judgments here and it's like, well, I'm, I haven't done anything wrong. I'm, I, I'll stand where I am on my platform with the Seven of Wands. And um, I'll, I'll stick by my, my principles, thanks very much. Um, because the, the Ten of Cups is here, the happy family. The pulling in the, the, the chariot is victory. And the justice is justice. And the lovers are the lovers. <laughs> So it's up to you. There'll be choices which are your choices here, which what, what way you want to go. But right at the end of this week, there's a judgment and justice. It's almost like something legal. Because you stand your ground and you guard your heart, you're able to pull your horses, both your, the obviously the, the black and the white horses or these pharaohs on this chariot, and move. It could be a car. It could be a family trip. It's like you've taken everyone with you and you're going to go forward regardless of what anyone else says because it's justified and it's fair. And yeah, it might, it might be a decision, but this is your decision to make. No one else's. Um, and you're going to be judged favorably for standing your ground, guarding your heart, guarding your family. And whatever else happened here, obviously you also an energy of the Empress maybe this battle had to happen maybe that you had to go down for a little while to and have this tower moment for this thing to take time to resolve itself so you could sit at a higher level a higher position and only ju god judges and you get the judgment up there is is right next to the queen of wands after this time out so it might go over the seven days if there's a legal thing it's going in your favor um initially I, I just think just what anyone else is doing just don't worry about it it's it's about your your energy it's about who you are and you are how you stand by your family your principles you move forward with victory you might even move because of you might have a house move and it's the legally it's gone through um again there's one card up here it's the six of swords it's moving to a more peaceful passage so I'm going to ask the romance angels what they'd like Aries to know. Aries, Aries, what would you like Aries to know for the next seven days? Next seven days. Days for Aries, Aries. And as I said, this might just go over the seven days. But I think by next Friday, you'll be seeing things differently and having to wait some time out for this judgment call. And don't, don't, don't. Empress, don't step down. Seven of... Uh, one's up there with the ten of cups next to it do not step down stay where you are if people want to have, make you feel depressed or like you're on your own or there's a, a, something that the blues comes and you've got no money or it just well just it's fine it's just go with that flow go over that 
a thing. Look to the future and, and st stick to your own self. Only God judges you, nobody else. To be creative. And there's movement, there's movement as well next weekend, I think, with love and justified love. Angels, spirits, what would you like Aries to know? Aries, Aries, what would you like Aries to know? Aries, okay, yes, okay, yes, okay. So we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. On the bottom of the deck, we have a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. You have got the emperor and empress here. And I said in the 24, I think it was the 48 hour reading yesterday, um, day before, um, there could be someone coming back. And you're like, what? What are you coming back for? This is like, I was all doing my own thing. And then you come back in. What, what's this about? And maybe just bite your tongue if this is the person you've been waiting for. And you're, if you worry that they're going to leave you again, then you're going to preempt and self-sabotage. So it's like self-fulfilling prophecy. Do you know what I mean? If you don't want this person, just don't let them blindside you with this tower stay with your wisdom your original path with the hermit even though you're on your own just stay focused focused if this tower comes in boof then you know where you stand no reciprocation from that person no money comes forward no love no empathy let's ask the angels where are my angels oh um but yes hold tight through this week is going to be a rocky one. Angels and spirits, would you like to tell Aries something for the next seven days? See only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes and misunderstandings and see the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. So this is also an awakening. There is an awakening in love. And this does come with the twin flame because they're here to show you, to teach you lessons. You'll meet, part, and then you'll go on the most craziest journey until they come back again and then you're on the next level of the, of the twin flame journey. So... It's all good. It's all lessons. And you, you wouldn't go back if you wanted to. You can't. So what else would the angels like Aries to know for the next seven days? Next seven days, next seven days, next seven days. And this represents a Virgo as well. There could be a Virgo coming back in. Aries, what's for the next seven days? And if you don't want to get pregnant, you be careful. Next seven days, next seven days for Aries, 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 Aries. One more card, please, from the angels. Angels, can you one more card? Okay. We have, listen, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Worrying about the ne exact nature, worry, of your desires manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you, listen. So maybe listen to your friends. Maybe listen to what they're saying. Don't go onto that battlefield with some kind of ego um, towards someone until you've got the full, is it MO? Story, basically. Um, and just follow your light and, and this thing will disrupt itself anyway, regardless of your, your input. But you don't want to be the one that shows out, you know. Anyway, Aries, all good, ends up with the justice, the lovers, moving to a more peaceful passage. Victory, the ten of cups, what more could you want? Just hold tight, at least for four or five days. Okay, Aries, I hope I've helped you. I've been the gift hero too. It's the gift hero too, Susie. It's a gift to two cs at gmail.com if you want to email me for a reading. Thanks. Bye-bye.